I want to thank you for purchasing our DRMT, which is a dual can receiver mounted product. What we're going to need, or what we include in your kit, is going to be a 12 inch arm that will have the center hole on the top with two side holes. You'll have two 16 inch support arms for the sides. They'll have the three hole sets on the ends and one in the center. You'll have four hooks that are all identical, two retainer brackets, the hardware set, nuts and bolts. You'll have your receiver base along with your adjustable upright that has the support tab for the arm. The tools you're going to need for this are going to be in any combination but a 7 16 and a 9 16 crescent wrench set or open end wrench or you can use an adjustable combination wrench. Let's get started doing our receiver mounted products. You'll have the receiver base and the receiver upright, the adjustable upright with the flange that you're going to have to mount the arm to. This will be able to give you three size adjustments. This will be the closest one to the ground, a little bit higher, medium, and then the highest point, which is a six inch difference. What we like to have it is when you're installing it is have it to be 14 to 21 inches off the ground from the ground to the mounting of the flange. To mount this is very simple. You're going to have four holes, so we're going to use four one inch, quarter inch by one inch screws. I find the easiest is just to put a couple of them in like that, flip it, take in your lock nut with uh, or lock washer with a lock nut. And it is kind of hard to get your fingers, so you're going to be missing a little bit there. And all I'm doing is lining it up on the bolt and just turning it with my thumb. Once all four bolts are started, now it's easier just to do the adjustment and tighten them. Make sure all nuts and bolts are tight. Now we have our assembled receiver base and upright. Assembling the double arm. The double arm will have a center part and two 16 inch side arms. Very simply the center arm has the hole on one hole on the top has two holes on the face. Those two holes in the face will mount up with your two side arms. The arms, the 16 inch arm, will overlap the top of the 12 inch arm. For a 40 inch setting, you'll use these two holes on the arm, obviously, and the two holes at the outer edge. For a 36 inch arm placement, you'll use the two inner sets of holes. Now a hook can be put in any one of these positions when we get to that part. So right now let's assemble this one for a 40 inch. We'll take our inch, um, inch by quarter inch bolt, lock washer, and quarter inch nut. And what we're going to do is just lightly tighten it because we're going to go over to our cans and the next step to make sure that we have our hook placement correct. So again, we're going to use the two inner hole, outer holes here.
7 16 open end wrench and 7 16 socket just lightly tighten them up so that we can make sure that this is where we're going to want them now we're going to take this arm that's half assembled and we'll go over to our garbage cans and put it on there and make sure we put our hooks in the right placement now that we have our hook partially assembled we're going to find where the hooks are best suited to go on the arm Keep in mind, we put this temporarily at 40 inches. Now would be the time that you may have to take this off, move it in, and try a 36 inch setting so you can get the optimum hook arrangement. Basically what we're gonna do is hold the, hold the arm in center, and I like to take four pieces of tape and notice that there'll be a hook placement here, and we can use either one of the holes in this case, but we're gonna use the outer hole. Same thing here, we got an inner hole, it's the third one in, and the outer. I also like to find out that for the people that are gonna have every other week pickup, where one week you have two, one week you have single, the ability to haul one can using just the center inner hooks. And in this case, we don't have any adjustment, we don't have to try anything different because our hook will be here and here, and it does fall in between. So we're all set now to put the hooks on. Now that we have our arm marked so we know where our hook placements are gonna be, the next step would be is we still have to fill in. We know that we're gonna be using this outer hole for one of the hooks, leaving one hole open that actually is part of the 12 inch arm and the 16 inch arm. So let's get that one tightened by putting a nut and a bolt. So you're starting out with your same uh, bolt and washer and lock nut. And first step, we just left them kind of snug, but then tighten them. So let's go ahead and tighten them. Take your hook, your bolt, and on the bottom side, there's a little tab. That tab goes underneath the bottom of the arm. So it's very simple, it tucks up underneath. Hold your bolt. Take your retainer bracket, slip it behind and under the arm. Add your lock washer and your nut. And just snug it up nice. Put the bolt through. Same process, that return flange will be underneath. Go over and do the other side the same. Now, some people have asked about the hooks. There is no left or right with the hooks. The hooks basically are all going to be four, are going to be identical. Go back and just make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight, but that's the assembly of the double arm. Now we're going to take our either our assembled double arm or we're going to show you how to do a single arm but we're going to mount the arm to the upright support tab. Very simply you're going to have in your packet a black um, lock nut, a 3 8 by 1 inch bolt and then a washer. Take your bolt and in the center hole of the arm Put that bolt down with your finger holding it because you're going to want the washer goes between the two. That's acting as a little bit of a cushion. And then we just drop it together. The support bolt or the lock nut. Start that up underneath. 
and it gets very tight quickly because there's a neoprene washer in there. Do not keep your arm to where it can move. We're gonna want this arm super snug. So basically, take a socket, It's going to feel snug when you're putting it in because that neoprene lock nut is going to hold it and keep it from vibrating loose again. Now we put it tight to where it actually does have tension. I, you know, we do not want it to wiggle and be sloppy because your cans are going to be able to move this. We just want a nice ability for this arm to pivot so that it's acting like a trailer as you're pulling it down your driveway. Now we're going to hook it up to our vehicle. We're going to do a start out with our double, but it'd be the same process for our single can or our dual can carrier. In your two inch receiver, we slip it in. We, we sell either a quick mounted one that locks in place with a little pivot here or use any 5 eighths ball fastening pin, hitch pin. Slip it through. This one just turns and locks and now it's secured in place and we are ready. What we like to do is have this mounted between 14 and 21 inches off the ground. We want enough of the tilt so that we have some, so probably about 30% of the can's weight is gonna rest on this arm. Now that we're gonna hook up our cans, Bring it up and over, just rest it down on the support arm. Take our PTO pin, which you can bend these out a little bit if they're too tight. Slip it behind and through the pin. We're installing the second can now that we have and we're sitting in center. We basically just have to drop off the second can over the hook. Do the same process, just pin it in place. and we're ready to go. Another option, if the PTOs aren't really hard, or depending on your can, sometimes the PTO, getting them slipped in could be more challenging than it is in this demonstration. We do offer what's called a ball bungee. Very simple, does the same process. We're just securing the can's handle, wrap it around, pull the ball, and that's all there is. We sell those on the website. That'll do the same thing, and it just keeps it in case it wants to try and lift off. We do have a return flange on our patented hook that, for the most case, everybody's going to find out they won't need this extra setup. And remember, hashtag Master the Can.